Hey guys, how are you all? I'm Ismail Sheikh. I'm back with this new video. Today we are going to answer this simple question. What is AutoCAD? So let's get started. So before getting started, please subscribe to my channel. Let's learn and stay notified to my videos related to engineering. So what is AutoCAD? AutoCAD is a computer aided software drafting program. It is used for a number of applications like creating blueprints for buildings, bridges and computer chips to name a few. AutoCAD is 2D and 3D auto uh, computer aided drafting software application. It is commercial software. Since 1982, it was a desktop application. Since 2010, it was available as a mobile web and cloud based app and known as AutoCAD 360. So let's move to our next question. So question is who developed AutoCAD or who created AutoCAD? AutoCAD is a commercial computer aided design software which was developed and marketed by Autodesk. AutoCAD was first released in December 1982 as a desktop app running on microcomputers with internal graphics controller. Before AutoCAD was introduced, most commercial CAD programs ran on mainframe computers or mini computers. Since then, AutoCAD has released up to 22 versions of its software. So the next question is, where is the software application used or where is AutoCAD used? So let's see uh, the applications one by one. AutoCAD is an architectural planning tool. It comes with a user interface with built-in design layouts. The layouts contain numerous templates specially designed for architectural planning and building construction. The second application of AutoCAD is used as engineering drafting tool. You can use AutoCAD to draw accurate 2D drawings for any engineering domain and also use AutoCAD to render to 3D models to help in visualization of the end product. The third application of AutoCAD is using AutoCAD as a graphic design tool. AutoCAD is initiated features that enable users to plan and map out spaces and take advantage of the space available. It can be used as simultaneously with 3D Max and various other application softwares including animation tools. The third application of AutoCAD is using AutoCAD as a 3D printing tool. A 3D print has its own advantages for designers and this is where AutoCAD helps them. It ensures file compatibility so that design can be exported to various preferred formats. The fifth application of AutoCAD is using AutoCAD as an industrial design tool. AutoCAD helps to reduce manufacturing cost and it saves time and efforts required for manual designing. The sixth and final application of AutoCAD is uh, in using it in fashion industry. AutoCAD has the tools necessary for planning uh, intricate designs for manufacture of jewelry, toys and other delicate objects. Now let's see some of the features of AutoCAD. The first feature is storage and accessibility. AutoCAD files can be saved on a computer or archived in any storage media such as cloud computing. The second uh, feature is 3D view. AutoCAD helps model 3D objects with colors, materials and textures. The third feature is revisions and modifications. CAD has inbuilt tools that allow any number of revisions and changes easily and quickly. You can edit, delete details easily using simple user-friendly commands. The fourth is speed. Creating uh, drawing in AutoCAD is faster than drawing manually. You can also save time and effort by creating reusable block library. Easy edits are possible with commands like copy, mirror, sketching, uh, stretching, scale etc and the final feature is accuracy autocad enables you to draw with fractional dimensional and also define precision to any number of decimal places which is not possible to achieve in hand drafted manual drawing hence offering accuracy in all dimensions now let's see some of the advantages of autocad 
So these are some of the advantages I have shortlisted in this video. The first is reduced storage space if you are using the uh, drawings and designs from the material library again and again you are just saving your space and second is the corrections can be made easily you can just uh, correct your mistakes and pressing undo button you can just uh, go back or you can use edit option the third is the repetitive parts of the drawings can be saved and imported from the CAD library you can import the parts which are saved in your computer and you can just call it the fourth is designs can be made realistic by using material library material library gives uh, uh, your drawing your component a great look uh, from it is used from AutoCAD the fifth one is CAD can be used to create some simulated environments to show to the client it gives you an attractive look the components uh, from the as I said earlier from the material library you can import the materials and you can give an interesting look to your component AutoCAD software offers the professional look it has flexibility in design changes it has auto specification check feature it has reduced design time cap it offers easy reuse of the designs the costly mistakes in the design or the production can be avoided using this feature and you can modify the existing uh, ideas that saves your time another advantage i have mentioned it in this slide is AutoCAD software reduces the manufacturing time the documentation can be printed in various forms of multiple users it presents easy of ease of uh, document reproduction and cloning and it offers the visualization of the complex technical elements another advantage is, is that AutoCAD software helps the designer to automatically check if the design is within the specification. It enables the clients to view the design at an earlier stage. Now let's see some of the disadvantages of AutoCAD software. So these are some of the disadvantages of AutoCAD. The first and most important disadvantage is, is that uh, the AutoCAD software it is quite expensive. There are free software packages though. The people need to be trained how to use the software that also adds the cost and it requires a PC. The second disadvantage of AutoCAD is that we have to retrain our staff. If any new update comes, then we have to return our staff according to the new commands and according to the new uh, interface. The third disadvantage is that the computer may get crash and all your drawings may get lost. This happens when the virus strikes your computer. The fourth disadvantage of AutoCAD is that we have to update the software. We have to update the software according to the company. If the company launches any new commands or new features into AutoCAD software, so we have to update it and we have to retain our staff according to those commands and we have to learn it again and again. So this is uh, one of the biggest disadvantage of AutoCAD. So these were some of the advantages and disadvantages I've told you in this video so thank you for watching this video if you like my video please press the like button and if you have any queries please comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel let's learn you can also connect to us uh, via facebook page my facebook page is let's learn this is the url and you can also follow me on twitter my twitter handle is ismail s underscore 007